Well, it seems Konami has major, major plans for the Metal Gear Solid franchise that goes beyond Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater and the Collection Volume 1. Over the last few years, Konami has come to the realization that they want to capitalize on some of their most valuable IP, and that includes Metal Gear Solid. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bow Boba Mania, where we go over the best in upcoming games in their rumors and leaks. So help us get to 1,000 subscribers by subscribing. And let's look over Konami's plan for Metal Gear Solid. So the first thing Konami is going to be releasing is, of course, the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. And this is coming to modern consoles like PS5, Xbox Series, and Nintendo Switch and PC. And the reason why Konami is bringing out this product is so that they can get all the previous games on modern consoles so if you wanted to play the original Metal Gear Solid 1, 2 or 3 or even Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 you can do that on your modern day consoles. Unfortunately for this remaster and us the fans this isn't really a remaster more of a port of the original games coming to modern consoles. So that is one of the big flaws about this collection. However, this is probably a decision that they made because of their future product lineups that we will be discussing later in the video. Now, of course, the next product in this Master Collection lineup would be Metal Gear Solid Volume, Master Collection Volume 2. Now this will most likely of course include Metal Gear Solid 4 and finally have this playable on PlayStation 5 along with having it playable on Xbox Series alongside Metal Gear Solid 5, the full version with any DLC that was included like Ground Zeroes that's probably going to be including into one package but that's just two games so there are a lot of other options to add in this master collection. There's Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Acid and Acid 2, there's Portable Ops and Portable Ops Plus, there's a Metal Gear Solid Digital Graphic Novel which they can definitely include into this collection too. There's Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker which could definitely be making its way into the collection. They could even add Metal Gear Survive if they wanted to just to fill it out and also of course the big one, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Now Metal Gear Solid 4 and Revengeance are the two big ones that could definitely, I think that's the two that people are really anticipating to come to modern day consoles. So I would be very, very excited for that. So just listing off all those Metal Gear Solid games that could come to Volume 2, that could definitely make way for a Volume 3 just to bring everything, every previous bit of Metal Gear Solid game, Metal Gear games to modern consoles in three different volumes so that could be something konami could do and i think they definitely are considering making it into three versions of the master collection so let's move on to the metal gear solid movie which i will be showing concept art on the screen right now as we talk about this movie now of course nowadays the live action adaptation for many things including the more recent adaptation of One Piece on Netflix has been very, very successful. But in regards to the video game space, The Last of Us was H one of HBO's most successful shows ever. And then we've also got the major success of the Mario movie that came out this year, crossing the $1 billion mark, which is absolutely insane. And then also the major successes of both Sonic movies too. So of course, Konami has seen that. And they've already greenlighted this Metal Gear Solid movie for a long, long time now. I think it's been over like six, seven years. But now with all the recent success of live action adaptations, it seems like now would be the perfect time to release a Metal Gear Solid movie. Now the movie is set to be directed by Jordan Vogt Robert, who directed Kong Skull Island. He also directed The Kings of Summer. In the video game space, he actually directed a short film of Destiny 2, New Legends Will Rise. Also, the film will be starring Moon Knight himself, Oscar Isaac, and he will be playing the role of Solid Snake. Now, an article by The Den of Geek reads, Oscar Isaac just gave away what's holding back the Metal Gear Solid movie, and it seems like they just haven't got the movie story down, and they don't want to rush it, they don't want to just put out anything. Oscar Isaac is a massive fan of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, he says it's his favourite game, but also the director himself, Jordan Vong Roberts, says it's not just one of the most important games, but it's one of the most important pieces of media. 
Asuke Sak also says that one of the movie's strong suits will be its psychedelic military horror. The plot synopsis for this movie is that an advanced tank is stolen by a terrorist group and an elite soldier, Solid Snake, is dispatched to retrieve it. There's no release date of course right now and it's being written by Jay Besu, Derek Connolly for screenplay and the writer section for this movie also lists Hideo Kojima. Now I don't know if he will get credited in the movie, I hope he does, he did make the first game so and all of the other Metal Gear Solid games so but you know with konami i'm not sure will they still hold that grudge hopefully they can fix their relationship going forward because i really want hideo kojima to be involved in future iterations of metal gear solid okay let's go into the remakes and this year we got the announcement at the playstation showcase metal gear solid delta sneak eater which is a remake of metal gear solid 3 snake eater and it will be coming in 2024 supposedly the third game will be making its way to ps5 xbox series and will be made from the ground up but what this also tells us is what's going on with the future of the metal gear solid remakes a lot of speculation has hinted that this is the first game in a trilogy and that the second game in the delta remake series will be a remake of metal gear solid 2 because this is now following the chronological order of events in the series. And then we will get the much anticipated Metal Gear Solid 1 remake, which for years has been rumored to be coming to PlayStation 5 and will be an exclusive to PlayStation, but it seems now that we will be getting this remake on both PlayStation PC and Xbox. So expect to have the full remake trilogy on all platforms. Now with the major successes of the Resident Evil remakes, which I think are the standard bearer definitely for the industry when it comes to remakes, we may also see a lot of other Metal Gear Solid games being remade, like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Metal Gear Solid 4, or could also be getting a remake which would be absolutely incredible so right now they have a lot of material to hold them before people start wanting metal gear solid 6. so let's talk about the future iterations of metal gear solid of course remakes won't last forever there's gonna be a time when they've remade everything they can right now that's years and years of content for them to make but there will come a time when they have to start development on Metal Gear Solid 6. So right now, Konami is at the stage where they're reintroducing the world to Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear franchise, and then we're going to get to the point where we want the next iteration. Now, hopefully, I guess the best case scenario is that they reconcile with Hideo Kojima, they apologize for the way they treated him, and they get him to work on Metal Gear Solid 6, but it doesn't seem likely. You know, that's like the best case scenario, that's something that we would all hope and want to have happen, but he's a very busy man himself, he's working on Death Stranding 2, he's apparently working on a Death Stranding movie, and... I've seen reports that there are a lot of developers out there in the world, there are so many people that are so passionate about Metal Gear Solid, there's definitely a developer out there that could make a Metal Gear Solid 6 and it would be a very successful and good game. Now finding that person, finding that developer is going to take a lot of work and Maybe they won't find that person, but they have to try. With all the work they are putting into reintroducing the world to the franchise, there will definitely be a Metal Gear Solid 6 at some point. Whether it's with Kojima or not, they will 1000% make the game without Kojima. And it seems that that will most likely be the case. And this is also a big reason why they're remaking the entire franchise anyway. There may be certain things that are changing the story that they don't really want to have happened. And that was kind of Kojima's, of course that was Kojima's idea. He made the games, but they're kind of familiarizing the current developer teams to making a Metal Gear Solid game. This is the story. Make sure you understand the lore and you will be because now you're developing the game. So once we get to that sixth iteration of the game, you're going to have all the knowledge and experience in what makes a Metal Gear Solid game so you can continue the franchise. It was actually one of the reasons why Naughty Dog decided to remake The Last of Us. It was a brand new team that they wanted to familiarize with 
with with the last of us franchise and how to make a last of us game and to familiarize them with the story of the game so that once they get to future naughty dog games and the last of us part three they could help and will know what they are doing when it comes to developing the last of us part three so that is Konami's mega plan for the Metal Gear Solid franchise. A possible three volume collection of ported older games so that everyone can play any Metal Gear Solid game on their preferred platform, a live action adaptation for the big screen and also remember with this live action adaptation I know it's a long long way off but we're most likely going to be getting sequels of this movie too and then we have Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater hopefully releasing next year and alongside those later in the future remakes of Metal Gear Solid 2 and 1 and perhaps other Metal Gear Solid games in the franchise too. And then maybe very far into the future, the next iteration of Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 6 will be coming at some time, at some point in the future. It's a very solid plan, it seems like they've been thinking about this for years and years and years and it's finally coming into fruition. Metal Gear Solid is back ladies and gentlemen and it will be staying with us for a very, very long time. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about what Konami's plans are. And I hope that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, Balboa Mania. I accidentally, I know it's so stupid, but I accidentally deleted my previous channel, Balboa Mania. So now I've remade it now. And it's just so sad because I lost so much old videos. I had a, basically, I had a couple of channels I never used anymore. And I tried to delete those channels. And by deleting one, it deleted three channels. And the only one that mattered was my previous Balboa Mania channel. And I was so annoyed and I tried to get in touch with YouTube. But the channel was permanently deleted. So it was so sad to watch that go. But here we are rebuilding Balboa Mania, so I hope you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and I just hope we can get it back to its former glory. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace out. God bless. And I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care, guys. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind